Our story begins with a hungry mosquito, genus Culicidae. This hungry fellow can be found all across Southeast Asia. The Nile Delta. And in Central America. Let's take a closer look at this hungry mosquito. Inside its proboscis, we find Wucareria bancrofti. This little fella is a human parasitic roundworm, which lives inside the mosquito and can be transmitted via the proboscis to a new host. It appears the mosquito has found its next meal. Oh no! While the mosquito was feeding, Wucareria bancrofti larvae were transmitted into the human bloodstream. This worm then travels through the bloodstream and into the lymphatic system where it matures to an adult. It is here that the adults will sexually reproduce. Really the resulting larvae return to the bloodstream where they can be ingested and spread by other unsuspecting mosquitoes. During the inflammatory phase of the infection, the host will experience fever, chills, skin infection, tender skin, and achy lymph nodes. These symptoms become less pronounced after five to seven days. In some cases, the adults can grow large enough and clog up the lymphatic system, causing the obstructive phase. This is when lymphatic filariasis, aka elephantiasis, can set in. Elephantiasis is a misnomer. Our pachyderm friends played no part in the making or spreading of this disease. Our apologies to our wrinkly friends. Elephantiasis is characterized by severe swelling of the skin and associated tissues of the extremities. Unfortunately, these disabling effects are permanent. There are no known vaccines for Wuchereria bancrofti infections, and treatment options for eradicating this problematic parasite are few and far between. The best way to avoid infection is through prevention, so if you're planning an exotic adventure to the equatorial regions of our dear Mother Earth, we humbly recommend insect repellent, or mosquito nets in particular. If you suspect you may have fallen victim to a hungry mosquito bearing Wuchereria bancrofti, you can avoid severe symptoms with diethylcarbamazine, ivermectin, and albendazole. These drugs are most effective when administered in unison. In 2000, the World Health Organization launched an initiative to eliminate filarial elephantiasis by year 2020. But until then, Wuchereria will just keep on swimming. To the vector go the spoils.